Hey everyone, Rick Albert here. So you wanna buy a fixer, what are some things you have to think about before pulling the trigger? Let's get started. Okay, so you're uh, wanting to buy a fixer, you see this home, it's beautiful, it's halfway done, whatever the case might be. What are some things you have to think about before proceeding? Well, first and foremost, you need to decide who's gonna manage it. Is it gonna be you? And what does that management look like? Like, you need to know, you're gonna be specifically saying, I want outlets here, here, here. Is it gonna be timing of the sewer line, installing HVAC, things that, to be honest, are kind of boring, right? You don't go on Pinterest to look at sewer lines, but those are decisions you have to make. Somebody has to manage that. Who's gonna be the guy or the gal to source everything, right? Which goes into my second point. When you're getting bids, what do those bids include, right? So when you meet with a contractor, I know a fantastic contractor here in Los Angeles, and his big thing is, I'll do the work, you get the materials. And he does that on purpose, and he does it because he doesn't he wants to focus on his thing while you start picking and choosing what you like and getting that shipped over it's actually a good way to do things if you have the time but those are things you have to think about that takes time and some contractors will pick it up for you but they're going to charge a premium right we're talking maybe 10 to 20 percent because that guy that could be working a job site now has to drive clear across town to pick it up and third and one of the most important things is the overall budget. Now, they, you know, oftentimes people say, well, add a 10% contingency, right? So your budget's 100 grand, put in another 10 grand for surprises. No, no, I, in my experience, and the experience of many of my clients, it ends up being like closer to 20 to 25% for that contingency. And that could be because the city inspector comes in and says, nope, you gotta do this, this, and this, and this. You know, when we bought our house, to do the remodel in ADU, the original plan was to run the sewer line from the ADU to the main house, and they were gonna share a line. It cost like three or four grand. The city said, nope, we changed the rules. Now you have to run all the way down your driveway and then connect towards the front of the street. Well, our budget just hit over eight grand, right? I mean, it was it was gonna come out to like, I think almost, it was about eight-ish, um, 8,200-ish. So we did some workarounds, got kind of creative. We can talk about that later. Um, to drop the price, but point being is our sewer budget more than doubled because those were surprises we could not account for. It wasn't the contractor's fault because the city changed their building codes, but those are things to think about. So think about your budget, think about who's going to manage it, and we're talking even the minute details. Do you want a light switch on that wall, or do you want on that wall, or do you want on both? Right? It's not exciting, but you gotta think about it. You know, and who's going to source the materials, who's gonna pick up the materials, who's gonna handle all that in a timely manner. That could be one of your biggest delays. Um, what are some things you look for when buying a fixer? Or if you're selling your home as a fixer, what are some things you want people to know? Comment below, share with your friends. You guys have an amazing rest of your week.